So, yes, we recorded the episode that day and all was good. Uh, I was able to get it out. And I know that uh, you were there uh, with me when we launched the first episode and all that. But did you believe that you had any role in sort of uh, promoting the podcast? I mean, you've done an episode uh, and obviously I would do, uh, I would do the promotion. I would, obviously I want to get you plus AI in front of everybody. So I would do what I have to, you know, in my social media channels and to promote the episode and sort of give visibility to the doctor patient relationship topic and all that. But did you believe you had a role? And if so, why? I think this is an, a very good question, Ranga. There, there, oh, there, there is no doubt in my mind that this is, there is an equal role in the person who is conducting the podcast as a host and the person who is doing the podcast as a guest. Mm -hmm. Because it's equally my baby. Mm -hmm. Because what is the purpose of doing the entire podcast? It's not for the host alone. Ultimately, it's going to go to the connections of the doctor-patient relationship. It's going to reach several doctors it's going to reach several patients, postgraduates, students, nurses, etc. How is it going to reach? So who is going to do that? So definitely I have a role to play. I need to have a social connection and I need to approach them. And awakening the social media is not at all easy, Ranga. I can tell you that's one thing also I learned over these, year, these months. Uh, some of them can be just like a rock and you need to probably knock them many times to wake them up. And uh, at least give a like or a thumbs up uh, or some uh, criticism or some uh, opinion. It's very, very difficult. But it does, uh, it is also the moral responsibility of the person who as a guest, it's equally the responsibility of them to make sure that the podcast is successful. Definitely, there is a role to play.